What's up guys, I'm Rachel Brooks Smith. I'm Nora DeKaiser. And this video is hopefully to empower and inspire anyone out there who might need it. Okay, Nora, like what do you wish you knew when you were in high school? Like this is probably a lot I of I wish things. I knew how to love myself when yes. I was in high school. That's what I wish I knew. Yes. And how do you do that? You get to know yourself. You have a relationship with yourself. You accept all parts of yourself and you learn how to be the person that you needed in times of sadness or fear. Um, you give yourself that presence. I love that. What about so you? I, what do you wish you knew? I mean, it's so much of that, right? Like how to actually love myself and how important that is. That there would never be another me ever mm -hmm. and that there was so much power in that and that every flaw that I had or every judgment that I had about someone else mm -hmm. was actually something, a judgment I had about myself. And mm -hmm. the only way to heal that is to actually look into it and ask myself proper questions. Mm -hmm. Like, why do I have that judgment about that other person? And what does that say about me? What is it inside of me that feels better to judge someone than yes. to look at myself mm -hmm. and why I'm judging? Whenever I would see girls, I would always like look at their bodies and judge their bodies. And be like, mm -hmm. oh, like, and I hated that I had that. But I realized that like, I grew up in a home where like what you looked like, what your body was like, and I was a dancer. So I was in front of the mirror all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I was always like seeing these judgments about other people and like what their body looked like and then especially about my own body is how connected my happiness my peace my joy was with the way my body worked mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like yeah i wish i knew that like yes. i feel like i'm really starting to understand that in such a powerful way that yeah. like when regardless of what's going on if i just choose peace instead if i just choose joy instead that it's not just for my own happiness but literally like my metabolism works better mm -hmm. like i just feel better i feel more confident because i'm not living in this place of like hate and judgment yep 100 percent. what's one thing you wish the young men knew that they can share their feelings mm -hmm. and it's actually extremely attractive oh it's so sexy if you can share your feelings. yes <laughs> i tell that to my fiance all the time i think that's what attracted me to him so much is that he actually did share yep. his feelings yeah yeah so it's men super it's super sexy when you do that it's sexy and if a woman isn't respecting that then she's not for you what's your number one tool for manifestation oh man one, number one tip for me it's so much about letting go uh -huh. like trusting uh -huh. i think when i really realized a lot of people talk about the opposite of love being fear when i reframed that and really looked at it uh, it was actually a lack of trust yeah and being able to trust whatever you believe in, whether it's God, universe, a higher power, yeah. like life force, whatever that is. If I'm in fear, it actually means that I'm just not trusting. Yep. And if I look back on my life, yes. all the times when I just kept doing things that lit me up, kept trusting that the desires I had within me were there for a reason, not because when I saw someone else have it, didn't mean that I couldn't have it. It was that I was actually one step closer. Things that held me back from manifestation that what has like kind of catapulted me forward is learning how to transmute comparison into inspiration yeah for sure because so comparison powerful. really is the thief of all joy yeah and joy is how you are magnetic to your manifestation yeah. so it's like that's why it's so important to choose joy because yeah. that's when you're most powerful creatively you're a better person you're a better partner you're a better friend yep yeah. um so it's like really learning to protect your joy yeah. more than anything because that is your power yep yeah. totally. what about you high intention so really knowing exactly what you want like mm. have the highest clarity in terms of yes. your intention of what you want what does it look like what does it feel like what exactly is it yes. where exactly is it how much is it like so much clarity Thank knowing you. exactly what you want but knowing there there's a lot of different paths to get that yes and continuing to move forward towards that path but not being attached to exactly the path that's going to take you there yes. because if you can really let go of that attachment even if things don't look like they're going the way you thought that they would yep. you can trust that even if this feels really hard or challenging or wasn't what you thought yeah that's just a part of the process yep. and i'm just one step closer to it coming yeah and being able to also like i was such a manic manifester where i was trying to push and force, force. and make things happen yeah. so fast that doesn't work <laughs> doesn't work it literally only causes energy. stress the force is the energy of lack it's saying yes. i don't have it i don't have it so the energy of abundance yes. would be i know i'm going to have it i know exactly what i want i know exactly what my intention is yes i know exactly what it is i know what it will feel mm -hmm. like i feel like i already have it because i know yes. it so well see and that's the biggest thing when i talk about learning how to transmute things like transmuting a smile into cash like for me abundance is a big thing so but I felt like I was always lacking, like I didn't have it yet, so I felt not good enough for it yet. There was always this disconnect. And then a mentor really taught me, the world puts money on such a pedestal, right? Mm -hmm. So like we think that money is like better than 
a hug, a deep connection moment with a friend. Mm -hmm. And so when I started to see everything as cash, mm -hmm. then it was like all of a sudden I was like, oh, it is everywhere mm -hmm. and it's never running out mm -hmm. and it's made up. Mm -hmm. So like I can just be in this energy and yes. what's nuts yes. is like literally when you live in that, like, and I say that oath that we did another video of the manifestation oath. And I say every day I, I accept and receive unexpected money. I accept and receive, receive unexpected, unexpected money. money. And then every time something happens, even if it's like a dollar, I'm like, Ooh, yeah. Unexpected money. Yep. And then that yep. turn, then all of a sudden like all these offers and opportunities start coming in. Yeah. And when you're vibrating so high, again, like joy is magnetic. Yeah. So like people want to totally. be around you. People want to give you totally. opportunities. People want to work with you. Woo! Please ask questions below. Share this with someone you think might need to hear it. Go follow Nora. Woo! Follow me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.